B. Still going, folks. Still going. This is sort of a word problem now. I'd like you to find the surface area of a sphere. If the circumference of the great circle is 14 pi centimeters. I'd like you to find the surface area of a sphere if the circumference of the great circle is 14 pi centimeters. Okay. Do we need a picture? No, I don't necessarily need a picture. I'm going to draw a picture though. Here's your sphere. They're talking about the great circle. Remember the great circle is this cross section circle right here. It's kind of going through the center of the sphere. That's the great circle. We need to find the surface area, so that means we need to use this formula. Uh, surface area is 4 pi r squared. Uh, we got a sphere. Yep. Okay. This is a okay. Circumference of the great circle is 14 pi centimeters. Remember what circumference is, folks. Circumference is the perimeter around the circle. If you were an ant walking, you walking around the circle. That's the circumference, everybody. The circumference is 14 pi centimeters. So in other words, if you were to walk the circumference of the earth you're walking completely around the earth I think the circumference of the earth is is roughly 25,000 miles um, you know give or take a couple hundred here but if you were to walk you know from Valparaiso Indiana and you were to walk completely you know through the Atlantic Ocean Europe Asia Pacific Ocean all the way back to Valpo it'll be about 25,000 miles um, <laughs> anyways okay so we got to find the surface area. It's a sphere. We know the circumference is this. Okay, so let's let's find the surface area. Surface area is four pi radius squared. What's our radius? We don't have a radius. They don't tell us a radius in this problem. Darn it! I guess we just can't do this problem, folks. <laughs> okay, this is when we need to do some thinking. Where's the radius, and how do we find it? Well, th there's got to be a reason that they gave you this information here. And hopefully you remember your two other circle equations from chapter, I want to say it was chapter 11? Circumference equation and area equation. The area of a circle is pi r squared. The circumference of a circle is pi d. You're going to use this first one. We're not going to use the second one. All right, so if the circumference is 14 pi, let's go ahead and plug this in. Let's do some substitution. C equals 14 pi. Okay, 14 pi equals C. So 14 pi C equals pi D. Circumference equals pi D. And what do we do now? Well, notice that they both have a pi on both sides, everybody. And when you have a pi on both sides with multiplication here and multiplication there, go ahead and divide by pi on both sides. Pi's cancel. So what comes down is 14, and what comes down is d. So the diameter of this sphere is 14. Well, if the diameter is 14, <coughs> let me clear my throat. What's the radius? It's 7. Cut it in half. Radius is half the diameter. We got the radius now. Come over here. We need to find the surface area of the sphere. We need the radius. I've got it using this information. 7 squared. Let's see, 4 pi times 49. And if you multiply 4 and 49, that's 196. Notice how I'm showing my work, folks. Notice how I'm showing my work. Super important. Don't just give me a decimal answer. Okay, let's punch out 196 times pi. Here we go. Here's our answer. 615.8, rounding the nearest nearest tenth again, centimeters squared. It's surface area. Okay. 
You know what? I think this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last one. Thought I had more. I do not. I'd like you to find the volume. I'm just going to put V of a hemisphere. Half a sphere. Cut a grapefruit in half. Find the volume of a hemisphere if the area of the great circle is 220 meters squared. Let's draw a hemisphere, everybody. And I'm going to draw a hemisphere from the bottom up. So don't draw this line. Draw this curved bottom. And then it's kind of like you're seeing the inside of the great circle right there. That's what I'm going to draw. Looks like that. There's your half a basketball, half a baseball. Take a golf ball and you cut it in half. We need to fill this hemisphere up with water because we want the volume. So we're going to need the volume equation of a hemisphere. And the volume equation of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. But if we want a hemisphere, you need to include that 1 half because it's going to be half a sphere. That's the equation of a hemisphere. Find the volume of a hemisphere. If the area of this great circle, which it's a circle, everybody, looks like an oval because it's sideways, but the area of this circle is 220 meters squared. In order to find the volume of the hemisphere, we need the radius, folks. Just like the last problem, we need the radius. We don't have the radius. You can simplify this a little bit. You can say the volume equals. You can simplify those two fractions right there. That's going to turn into 4 over 6, which reduces to 2 thirds. We just did that. So that's 2 thirds pi radius cubed. I need a radius. I, I need a radius. Radius goes right there, and I don't have the radius. But there's got to be a reason that they gave you this information here. Because the area of every circle is pi r squared. So with this information, if you know the area is 220, plug it in right there. Do, do a little substitution, folks. So 220 equals pi radius squared. OK. What do we do? What do we do? Oh, boy, what do we do? Oh, we've got to get the r by itself. So to get the r by itself, divide by pi on both sides. Now these pi's are going to cancel. And the r squared comes down. But unlike the last problem, where all the pi's canceled, we don't have a pi next to the 220. So the question is, what do we do? Mr. Colso, what do we do? You take that and you punch it out in the calculator. So let's just take 220 and divide it by pi. So the radius squared is going to be 70.028 dot, 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 dot. I'm just going to write it down just so I have a number there. Keep this in your calculator, please, because we're not done. We don't have the radius yet. We've got this number equals r squared. Now to find the radius, square root both sides, and that's going to give you your radius, r equals. All right, where's my square root button? For you iPhone users, it's right there. So just hit it. There's your radius. 8 point, I'm going to go hundreds, everybody. 8.37. And it goes da 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 da. Let's just write something down just so we know the radius. All right, we got the radius. 8.37 ish. And that's what we need to plug in right here. We want to find the volume? We need the radius. So 8.37. But instead of you know, clearing this and writing in 8.37, just keep this in your calculator. This is a much more exact answer than 8.37 because we got 8.36, 8.2, 8. It's more exact. So cube it. So to cube it, you iPhone users, hit x to the third right there. That's the cube. 
of this eight point you know that exact number right there so I've got five hundred and eighty six point zero two dot 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 but once again keep it in your calculator don't clear it because you have an exact answer here you just punched out this to the third power now you need to multiply it to that fraction right there the two-thirds so I'm gonna multiply by two then take my answer and divide by three so multiply by two equals cool divide by three equals awesome so I have 390.7 pi so all I need to do is just multiply this number in my calculator don't clear it just take that number and multiply it by pi and here's your exact answer 1227.3 if you're rounding the nearest tenths uh, meters cubed meters cubed alright folks we are done with geometry congratulations you made it here's your review guide Remember, I'm, I'm not going to give you a homework assignment from page uh, from from lesson 12.6. I'm going right to the review because I'm out of time. Your review guide is found on page 904. Ten point assignment. Make sure you get it to me by Wednesday. There's no school on Monday, folks. Make sure you get it to me by Wednesday. Also, I need your binder. Take pictures of your notes. Send them to me. That's another easy, easy, easy points that some of you desperately need. Make sure your binder looks amazing. Make sure your review guide looks good. Try every problem. Check your answers with the book. But the review guide is page 904. And I'd like you to hit 14 to 30 all. All right. Everybody, have a great weekend. Start this review guide. Good luck on the quiz on Wednesday, and uh, I, I guess it's the appropriate time to say have a great summer, and we'll see you next year. Uh, if you need anything from me, shoot me an email. Um, ask me for some help if you need be, but uh, it's been a good year for everybody, and uh, I've, I've enjoyed teaching you in school, and weirdly enough, I've enjoyed kind of teaching through this e-learning, um, although this is not the best way to teach. Um, you know, given what we've got, this is what we have had to work with. So it's been a pleasure. Uh, hopefully you got something out of this class that will make you better for next year when you jump into Algebra 2. So any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. Uh, take care, everybody.